Tom Cotton's warning about the dangers of foreign interference in election strikes at the heart of national security and the strength of democratic institutions. His focus on vulnerabilities like hacked voter databases, compromised election machinery, and attacks on critical infrastructure reflects a desire to safeguard elections from external sabotage. While Cotton zeroes in on the risks posed by foreign powers, this emphasis contrasts with the arguably greater threat from within domestic forces that could undermine the system. The push for paper ballots, thorough audits, and stricter voting rules signals a conservative push for stringent, transparent measures to bolster election integrity. Ignoring the influence of foreign propaganda through memes or online videos leaves a gap in addressing how such tactics could indirectly harm electoral outcomes even if they don't directly target infrastructure. It sounds to me like you're downplaying the fact that Vladimir Putin is using people like uh, Dave Rubin, whose show you went on in February, as a tool for his propaganda. So I, I'm not downplaying Vladimir Putin's designs or Xi Jinping's designs or the Ayatollah's designs to try to influence our election. But using money using money to try to promote memes or videos on the internet is not exactly going to make a huge difference. Again, you shouldn't knowingly do that. I don't know if any of these people you, knowingly did it. You know it, young but, people who, but, get, they all, some people only get their information from those memes and but, videos. But Dana, what, what would really would, would be catastrophic is if a foreign government, say, hacked into the voter registration system during voting or hacked into election machines and erased votes or turned off the electricity in a big city on election day. Those are things that are serious threats. A few videos and those active threats. Are you worried? Uh, I am worried about, about those kind of threats. Sure. Is that based on what you're being briefed on? It's based on the vulnerabilities that all of our infrastructure around the country has. That that worries me a lot more than a few videos or memes. Again, this is the kind of thing that foreign governments like Russia does, and no one should knowingly and wittingly partake in it. But it's really not all that consequential in the grand scheme of things. Trust, both personal and systemic, is a crucial element when weighing perceived threats and the anxiety of upholding democracy. Public attention gravitates toward visible, systemic vulnerabilities, amplifying the call for robust security measures against both internal and external dangers. There's a palpable unease about the fragility of democracy, with a shared sense of responsibility to safeguard its core values. Cotton's statements reveal a nuanced tension between safeguarding security and grappling with deeper fears that the erosion of democratic principles might outpace any technical defense measures put in place.